Literacy is the first instrument of learning that will help our young people to get out of poverty. Harlem Talk Radio brings you news and information at Stimulating Talk Radio on the Harlem community. What's up, everybody? This is Ligia Pass with HarlemTalkRadio.com. I'm here with the Honorary Inez Dickens, our Councilwoman from Harlem. Honorary Councilwoman Inez Dickens, baby. Welcome. Hey, hey, it's so good to be here, and it's so good to see Harlem Talk Radio out here today on this phenomenal celebration of our culture. The beautiful thing is, you, you bring out that warmth in me. It's, it's almost like I'm, I'm speaking with a Councilwoman, but it doesn't feel formal. So thank you for that feeling. Oh, listen, it's not formal. I mean, we're, we're family. This is the African diaspora. This is the Mecca. This is the center. And today we're just celebrating. This is a, a, a celebration of, of our culture, our heritage, as we continue because everything is a fight. Everything is a fight and we continue to fight. There was a fight in the 50s. There was a fight at the turn of the century. There's a fight in 2011. And, and Harlem Talk Radio keeps our culture alive and it helps to educate people it's diverse but it also is a is an anti-gang because it shows our youth that there is another way it teaches our youth that we we have shoulders that which we stand on yes ma'am talk about the beauty of just seeing so many of us on this lovely summer day it, it's so beautiful we're out we're out celebrating we're out buying our books we're meeting our writers our authors our rappers we are meeting our electeds that are walking the streets, and I'm so pleased to be a part of this. Uh, God is good, but we've also got to help ourselves. And, and we've got so many great elected Congressman Rangel uh, was called back to, to Washington because of what uh, the Republicans have done, that they do not want to restore and keep our, they want to destroy our social security system. They want to take away our Medicaid and Medicare. They don't want, they don't want, they understand it, but they're saying no, even though their people are suffering just as much. And so uh, the president the president uh, recalled all of his troops to come back to Washington this morning to rally to see what they need to do. So otherwise, he would be here walking the streets. Assemblyman Keith Wright is here. I'm here, and we've got so many. We've got those that are running for judicial delegates because we got to remember that, that, that these are people who are volunteers. And our judicial delegates like uh, Dolores Richards and and. Rel Bernie and Londell Davis Jr., they're out walking to celebrate us and our heritage and our community so that we can remain a part of it. You know, we stayed here in Harlem during the hard times, the difficult times when no one wanted to invest, no one wanted to come here, and so many of us stayed here. And now we're fighting to continue to stay here. But that's all right, because I'm not going nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Speak to literacy because this is a book fair, so we, we're, we just want to tell our young people the importance of school and getting that education. You know, just last week I rolled out a literacy program with Susan Taylor, uh, Essence, uh, Sesame Street, Scholastic Books for our Nitches. I rolled it out at King Towers in my district down on, on Malcolm X Boulevard and 115th Street, but I'm going to put the literacy program in at least one NYCHA in every council district across the city of New York. That'll be 15, 51 nights and it cost the city not a dime. I got private funding to do this. The city does not pay any money for it. I thank Susan Taylor for being the catalyst and this was her this was her nucleus of an idea. And it's because literacy is the first instrument of learning that will help our young people to get out of poverty. That's that's the purpose of this book fair, that, that literacy is so important because if we cannot read and write, then we cannot work, we cannot measure, and who knows, there may be a, a, a doctor that can come up with, with how to cure AIDS.
right here in our community, or 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 a child, a, a little girl that can come up with the cure for cancer. All these afflictions that are hitting our community, and and part of literacy in rolling that out that I did was about fighting childhood obesity because it goes neck and neck. If our children are not healthy, then they can't learn. We can't get a better close than that family. We're here with the honor honorary Inez Dickens, councilwoman from Harlem. Spend some time with HarlemTalkRadio.com at the 2011 Harlem Book Fair. Thank you so much, Ms. Dickens, for your time. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you, and, and, and keep our community going. Yes. God bless. Yes, ma'am. God bless. Thank you. Harlem Talk Radio brings you news and information and stimulating talk radio on the Harlem community.